Though not a victim, not a fatality, not even a relative, feelings of the most incomprehensible loss overcome. It is as though our collective breath took pause. For a moment, it seemed like we were outdone. Since then, emotional distress takes me over the edge of nevermore, consuming any kind of thought, imagining what so many went through in just a moment, fear, cloaked in tears, get me right about my throat caught. My heart races in a panic as if trying to escape from what? And why run from whatever destiny outer demons had in mind for those who died? The children, the women, the heroes. Never forget that fateful September day, like minute pieces of glass cutting me as my jagged flesh tears away. So many lives destroyed within a flash. Damaged. I hear the cries in the darkness. The shards of debris coming at me in fierce fashion, splicing and thrusting forward in my nightmare. A nightmare that was a reality. Awakened from this recurring incubus, going on in our daily lives, through the wars, during the constant fears, provoked, driven, cursing evermore into subconscious. Took many summer days to strive forward. Long autumn afternoons, remembering what once was. Cold, dark winter nights, shivering in the storm. And after the storm, springs hope anew. Breathing in a sense of survival, a willingness to carry on, a belief in all that is right and true, a promise that again today can lead to tomorrow. We have to continue to come together, to commemorate, celebrate the lives of our lost brothers and sisters, and come through and look into each other's eyes, each other's faces, and see you and me.